Space Max has a package called Helm, uh, which allows you to find things really, really quickly. Um, and Helm also has uh, a transient state, which helps you work on uh, the list of things that you find very easily as well. So let's take a look. So if I'm going to, uh, I've been using Space Max for a while, so I know I've got quite a lot of buffers open. So I'm going to do space B B and open up the buffer list. Uh, and I can see I've got lots of uh, lots of closure files in there quite a lot of MD files. I've been working on a, a log file for uh, for the 100 days of code and I can see I've got quite a few Maggot log files uh, which I'd really kind of like to delete. Uh, so if I look at, if I do Maggot, well, Maggot is the um, Emacs Git client so I can get rid of these because these are just transient buffers. Um, now I could go in and delete them all manually which, uh, which uh, take a bit of time if I use the um, Helm transient state, if I do Alt space, brings up Helm transient state at the bottom, and I can navigate up and down uh, through the buffers. Uh, I can mark them individually with T, or I can just mark the whole uh, the whole list of buffers. Uh, and um, so this has listed all the buffers, but with respect to the pattern I have at the top. So it's only for uh, Maggot buffers. You can see all the other ones are not marked uh, there as well. And um, if I do an action, uh, I can select an action to uh, to work on all those marked buffers. And I want to be able to kill uh, those buffers, um, which is down there. There we go. So I can do MD, or I can select, select kill. Uh, and it will delete all those buffers uh, and it's just prompting me to see if I want to kill them or not. Press K and just press K a few times and off it goes. Whee. There's quite a lot there. Um, so that was a really quick way to uh, to use uh, the Helm uh, transient state to be able to get rid of a whole bunch of files, a whole bunch of buffers that I don't actually want. I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much.